Welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is the wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric, where fabric is sewn into fashion. In this video, I'm going to show you how I attach the neck band and the neck binding. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to iron both the neck band and the neck binding in half. I have sewn the neck band ends together and this is how it looks. Now that it is sewn, I'm going to divide it into fourths. With the seam on one end, I'm going to pin the other end. I'm just using the pins as a marker. Now I'm going to pull on the neck band and align the seam and the pin. And now I can pin to mark the folded ends. And when the neck band is open, it should look like this. When I studied the t-shirt that I'm replicating, I noticed the neck band seam was a little past the shoulder seam, towards the back. So I attached the neck band about an inch past the shoulder seam, towards the back, and pinned them together. Now I'm going to tuck the neck band into the shirt temporarily, just to keep it out of the way. Next, using the pinned end, I'm going to fold it in half and pin the opposite end. Now I'm going to align the initial pins and pin both of the folded ends. The neck should now be divided into fourths. Now I'm going to pull out the neck band and start matching up the pins. So I'm going to remove one pin and then repin the neck band to the shirt. I'm going around the neck band and matching the pins up and repinning. Note that the neck band is smaller than that of the shirt. You will have to stretch out the neck band to sew it together. When ready to use my serger, you'll notice that I stretched out the neck band to make sure it lays flat and aligned with the shirt. Again, stretch out the neck band and align it with the shirt and then sew. Continue all the way around the neck band until it is attached. Make sure to remove the pins as you're serging. When I get to the end, I cut and then tie a knot to secure the end. Just a quick tip, don't rush this process. I was actually sick and was excited to finish this t-shirt. I tried to stay up late and didn't do a good job of aligning the neck band and the shirt. Guys, removing serging stitches were not fun. Thank you Cynthia Dickerson's YouTube channel for the tutorial. It helped me remove the stitches quickly. I'll link her video down below. Now to refocus, I am going to iron the neck band. This is how it looks after a press. To prepare for the edge stitch on the front, I'm just going to fold it over and then measure one inch from the shoulder seam towards the back and then pin. I'm going to repeat this on the other side, one inch past the shoulder seam towards the back. Now I'm going to edge stitch all the way around the front of the neck from pin to pin. Here I'm using the edge stitch foot and I'm going to align the needle furthest to the left. I'm starting where I had placed the pin, I'm removing the pin and then I'm going to edge stitch. When you get to the other pin, you are complete. Make sure you do a back stitch to secure it. And the shirt is now edge stitched in the front. Now I'm ready for the binding. I'm going to open up the shirt. I'm going to take the open end of the binding, fold it in half and I'm going to align it on the shoulder seam. I'm laying it across the shoulder, the neckline, and then the shoulder. Next, I'm going to pin it all along the seam. Then I took it to the sewing machine and sewed a quarter of an inch seam. It now looks like this. I'm going to quickly trim off any excess binding and I'm going to fold over the binding. This will cover up the seams and I will pin it from one end all the way to the other to stabilize it. You'll notice that I had pinned it from the right side of the shirt and then check on the back to make sure the seams were covered. And now I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch across the binding. Here I used a zipper foot so that I can easily see the seam and then move the needle all the way to the right. 
I did sew it from the right side of the fabric, but after I completed it, I thought it would have been easier if I sewed it from the bottom side. I'm just happy that the binding turned out right. And that completes the neck band and the neck binding. It was a success replicating my running t-shirt. Have you ever sewn a t-shirt before? Did you use this process? Let me know your experience. Feel free to watch the other two videos in my Black Tea series. It will be linked in the description box and also at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary.